What's going on guys? Today I am back working on the car. Feeling much better since my last video. And uh, today I'm gonna look at taking off the lower control arms and possibly swapping on the SLR kit that I've had for a while now. I was hoping to do that once my new coilovers came in, but those won't be in until Monday. Today is Thursday, so I'm gonna try to get what I can done while I'm still on spring break from school, and then uh, probably next weekend, I'll get the coilovers installed, and hopefully, I'll have this SLR kit all buttoned up. If you guys stopped by mine and Matt's stream on Tuesday, you'll notice I cut my hair off. It was time to do that, and uh, yeah, so every Tuesday at about eight o'clock at night, that's uh, Michigan time, so it's like EST or whatever, I don't know. And then uh, we're doing a podcast on Twitch, and I'm working on the technical difficulties of my YouTube stream. So hopefully that'll be up and running for this next podcast. We hang out, talk, we had some uh, cool guests on the last show, and we're gonna have a special guest each week. So make sure to stop by and check that out. Links in the description below. So I've got some of my tools laid out. I do think I'm gonna have to run and grab some different size wrenches from the store. Um, I think I need to get like a 21 mil, which I don't have unless I can get away with using like a crescent, but I don't really want to do that. So I'll probably end up running up to the store. Got my buddy heater going just because it's really cold in here. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is go under and take off one of the skid plate trays. Um, and then I can start to go in and remove all of that stuff. Um, tie rods and all that. And then I'll start to put together the SLR kit, kind of piece, piece it together. And uh, hopefully I can get these control arms off today. That'd be sweet. I just spent the last probably hour working to get, oh, this is gross. I don't want to spill this everywhere. This skid plate off of the car, it had all of these bolts like this. Set some focus. But the last one stripped, like the top part of the bolt. So I had to cut it out of this hole right here. Um, and yeah, that just took way too long. But now this disgusting tray is out. Now that this disgusting tray is out, I can uh, start to assess what's going on under the rest of the car. But oh my God. When I say that took forever, that took forever. I don't even know what time it is now. Yeah, that took at least an hour to figure out. Like, I tried so many different ways to pull that bolt out and I just had to cut it. And so, I mean, it's not even a bolt that was important. There's literally a hole for bolt right next to it. So there's no reason why they shouldn't just bolt right back up. I don't know, stupid BMW things, but moving on. Just took some time to take off the tie rod nut. The uh, threads on here. Let's see. Come on. Right there, the threads on that screw or whatever you want to call it, that tie rod, were terrible. It took a ton of time. There's a bunch of rust build up in there. And then the one back there holding the knuckle from the control arm wasn't too bad. Now I'm going to, I don't know what the best move is. Maybe I'll undo the tie rod, disconnect it from the steering rack. Then maybe I'll go underneath and start looking at the actual control arm itself. Um, I know there's like a 21 mil or 22 mil where it connects and I don't think I have that. So I might have to run out and grab one. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. I don't remember the last time I filmed and talked. Um, basically that skid tray's out. Everything underneath here is undone. So the, the knuckle and the rotor and brake assembly are all loose. Uh, the only bolt left on the lower control arm is the top middle one because I thought it was a 21, but it's actually a 22 millimeter and really hard to get to and I don't have a 22, so I'm gonna go buy one tomorrow. Um, what else, what else, what else? The tie rods, um, to run the SLR kit, you have to separate the end from the part that goes into the steering rack. Mine isn't coming apart, so I'm soaking that overnight to see um, because I really don't want to spend money on inners because M3 ones apparently are weird. Uh, tools everywhere else. Over here is my giant hammer. Uh, SLR kit still in the box. 
looking fresh. I cannot wait. And then over here, same deal. Um, everything is undone. The tie rod's still on there for now. I might take that off tonight. I'm ending tonight like this. I'm gonna get that wrench tomorrow to get that lower control arm all the way off. I'm also gonna have to look up some more research on those tie rods. Um, my coilovers will be here in two days or three days, something like that. Um, and then those will be easy to slap on. I'm hoping to get started on the SLR kit install tomorrow. This is just gonna be one long video, but this is just for remaining tonight. So I will see you guys in the second part. Okay guys, it is day two and slowly making progress. And I mean super slowly. Uh, the way BMW designs things makes no sense to me a lot of the time. But uh, here's where we're at. <sighs> Both of these, let me grab this one. Uh, I'm not, I haven't tried this one yet, but this outer tie rod section is completely seized to this inner tie rod section. So I'm probably just gonna stop fussing with it. I've tried heating it up, PB blaster, wrenching on it in every way possible. Uh, it's not coming off unless I were to cut it off, but uh, probably just try to save some time and effort and order new inner tie rods because it's the only part I would need. I removed the sway bar because in order to get the lower control arm out, this bolt right here, let's go down here. All right, let's see if we can. You have to go up past this part right here, which is your steering rack where the tie rod comes in. The sway bar hangs down and then deep in there you can see that hole. Um, actually, that's not even the right hole. Let me see. Yeah, so that hole up there through that subframe is where you have to go. And so the worst part about doing that is that the motor mount is right behind where that bolt is. So you can't even use a ratchet or a socket or anything like that. You have to use an open-ended 21 millimeter wrench. I thought it was a 22 to 21 and you just have to do it little by little. And I just did that for the last 15 minutes and my arm is just dead. Uh, but let's take a look at these bushings, these are supposed to be solid when they're on your car. So, uh, this guy is just wiggling around, completely blown out. This one, completely blown out, wiggling around. Uh, the lollipop back here is fine, but uh, that doesn't really matter. So this is the old arm. And which way is this gonna go? It's gonna go the other way. This is the wrong side. But regardless, this is the new SLR arm. This is actually for the passenger side. Let me grab out the other one. So this is a side-by-side -side of the two. The SLR arm is a lot longer and also a lot skinnier. It's also Got some cool branding on it. And it has a sway bar connection right here. Uh, I don't know how that works exactly, so I might have to get a bolt for that later on or get like little end links. Uh, I think it's just gonna require those little end links. Um, yeah, but so here is the new arm. I think I'm gonna try to get this bolted up today. I'm gonna look at the other side, try to get the bolt or the nut off of that center arm now that I know how to do it and then uh, start looking at how to assemble these because I can get these mounted up to the car and the uh, the tie rods can wait so I'm gonna try to get these onto the car today I have all the other parts in the box over there so uh yeah that's kind of where we're at uh, Russ sucks all I gotta say is old BMWs are not fun when it comes to rusty bolts Hard to get two bolts, any bolt that isn't just brand new, uh, yeah, 20 years of age pretty much, sucks, so, yeah. I'm gonna try to wrench on this other side control arm, hopefully get that uh, nut off the top, and then I can start with the fun part, and that's getting the new SLR stuff all uh, kind of situated and ready to bolt up. I feel like that will be 10 million times easier than removing everything else, so hopefully I can, uh, Get this rolling. Here is what 
the SLR bracket looks like on the back of the knuckle. And then the arm down here, I haven't tightened up that bolt yet, so this will be up there a little bit more. The arm is in, got the lollipop back there. So the arm's all pretty much there. Putting this back together is a billion times easier than uh, taking it apart. I do have to order those inners, and then my coilovers will be here, and then I can get the rest of this kind of figured out. For right now, that's all I have time for today. I actually have to uh, do some other stuff, so I might be able to work on the car tomorrow. If not, I'll have to postpone until probably next weekend, which kind of sucks. So hopefully tomorrow I can get back in here and work on the car at some point. Uh, but yeah, I mean, seeing stuff bolted up is really cool. But uh, I still have to get that other side apart and then order those tie rod inners and get all that stuff figured out. So, on to day three. Guys, it has been a week, a week since I last worked on the car, but I got some new stuff in today, which is just dope. Uh, some packages here, some tools. This is gonna be inner tie rods and that over there is a box with coilovers in it. So, uh, yeah, it's been a week since I worked on the car. Not much has changed. I ordered a ratchet, like an extended ratchet that had a angled majigger, flexible ratchet um, to try to get the control arm bolt off of this side. And then, uh, yeah, so let me uh, get this camera set up somewhere so I can open this big, big old box full of coilovers. I can't even talk, it's, I mean, whatever. But uh, yeah, it is my birthday today. Uh, so I'm probably just gonna open stuff, look at it, and then I will uh, continue the video tomorrow when I actually am like working on the car. Got my good old knife. All right, so sorry if it's shaky. Cause I'm holding my camera with one hand. But luckily, this knife is really sharp. So, should make quick work. Cool. Just got some replacements. Hopefully they're the right thing that I need. Um, that kind of looks right. Let's go over and see. This one does look like it matches up with this factory one. This little piece right here is a little different, but uh, it's the same thing. It looks like they got some grease in there. So. Those should be all set. Uh, let me open some other stuff. Man, I love this knife. Twenty-one mil socket for the top of that uh, control arm bolt. It's not as long as I was hoping it was going to be. That's what she said. And then I got this guy right here, which is this flexible ratchet, which will allow me to basically put this 21 on here to get up into that control arm area. Uh, essentially, you could do it with a wrench, which is what I did on the driver's side, but the problem with the passenger side is the bolt, or the nut is orientated in a way that the uh, regular wrench can't fit on there and undo that bolt. So I watched a video and saw a guy just use a 21 mil socket with one of these flexible heads and he was able to get up in there and do it. So I'm praying that that works. Um, so now that I have all the boring stuff, let's open these coilovers. I've been waiting for like three weeks on these. Time to open up this guy. I'm gonna have to just hold stuff up because I don't have a tripod right now. So I'm just setting my camera on. Whatever I can find. Definitely gonna save these boxes. It's a box within a box. It's a pretty cool box, so it's got like a bunch of information. 
Uh, looks like warranty, stickers, a flyer about custom builds. Oh no, it's a custom build thing, so BR series, extreme low kit, uh, standard springs, and then uh, front camera plates, front pillow ball, rear rubber ball, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Thanks, Chris, my build specialist. Product warranty and some cool stickers. I'm just gonna keep all this together. I ended up going with the uh, 8 and 12K spring rate. Based on research I did on the interwebs, that seemed like the, uh, the way to go for right now. And anything will be better than uh, what I had previously set up on the car. So, some nice packaging. So, we've got end links, which I wasn't sure if they're going to come with, so that's cool. And uh, packing peanuts. This is going to be a rear spring. Some rear shock. It's pretty big. Cool. These look like the little seats for the uh, rear springs. Nice. The spring just looks like a spring. Uh, this is the front. So here's everything that's in that box that I just talked about. Uh, also get some, why can't I think of what these are called right now? Whatever wrenches, I forget. Uh, yeah, so coilover. Strut, other strut, sway links, spring, and uh, whatever, and doggo. Uh, yeah, so got coilovers, got my inners. The angle kit is like ready to go. I've got the new tool, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I'm really gonna do today. I, what time is it? Actually, I might have time to like install the rear coilovers and uh, also try to get that other control arm off. If I can do that, I will. Uh, I do have plans tonight though, so I don't know how uh, in depth I wanna go with everything. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated throughout this video. Back here in the rear, got these bolted in, as well as these springs. It says to put the adjustable part on the top. I'm not really sure uh, how that's gonna work. I might even just take that adjustable part out but the rears are all installed on both sides. It's a week later, a whole week, and I finally got the lower control arm on the passenger side off of the car. And I tried so many different ways to undo that bolt, and I couldn't get it, so I finally went and got some of these uh, Dremel discs that are made from metal, and so I was able to get up under there, way up in there and cut the nut that was on the end of this stud right here. You couldn't get a grinder in there. The only thing I could get in there was a Dremel, uh, but it is out, so it's nice because everything gets replaced by the new arm, and I'm about to bolt this side up. So this shank right here is what replaces that stud, and then these guys are for the lollipop in the back and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this lower arm uh, bolted up, focus. Get that lower arm bolted up into there and then I will probably get the knuckle adapter on, then the coilover, bolt it to that and then bolt everything together and it should be good to go. And I'm super stoked. This whole side mounted up. Got the BC Racing coilover in there. So that is angle turning to that way, which looks something like that. I'll show you on the other side, I have a wheel mounted up. And then coming around this way, this is angle, full lock, running this way, which is pretty dumb. <laughs> and uh, the only thing that's rubbing right now is uh, the barrel of the wheel right here is acting as a bump stop against the lower control arm. So you can hear it rubbing on there. Uh, 
Yeah, so that's a uh, full lock this direction. Let me zoom back out. And then if we go the other direction, and this is a super rough alignment right now. I've got it, uh, the camber pretty much maxed out. So like that would be turned straight. And if we go to the front, eh. <sighs> that's what it looks like from the front. Uh, basically perfect fitment on the poke uh, on the side over here. Like perfect. I will be going up uh, five more in sidewall, so I don't know how that's gonna affect that. And the car is still in the air, so I don't even know how the compression of the coilovers is gonna affect that. But that's pointed straight. Uh, it totally fills out the front fender on the M3. And now I'll run back over here. Ah. And I'll turn it this way. So that's one turn of the steering wheel and like a half. That's like one and a half turns of the steering wheel. And that's full angle that way. Looks something like that. I did pretty much just push the camber adjustments all the way to a uh, negative camber to try to see if that'll help. And then back on this side. That's what those arms look like. Uh, yeah, so everything's on there. I don't actually have, let me fix the ISO. I don't actually have the wheel. Well, I guess I do. I have the tire mounted on the wheel, but there, it's old and it's got a hole in it, so it would just be a flat tire. There's not really any point of putting it on there, except for the fact that it might look cool, so I might go grab that. I will say, all in all, Make sure I'm focused. All in all, this has been a very long project, but I'm actually pretty proud of myself for you know getting everything bolted up in my garage. I've done everything by myself with no extra help, so lifting heavy stuff to bolt it up and unbolting stuff onto my face and all sorts of stuff. So um, I've done it all myself, which is pretty cool. I do still have to go through and re-tighten down, retorque all of the bolts uh, just to make sure everything's safe. Do a really rough, quick alignment. And then uh, once I get my new tires mounted up, then I can, you know, get them on the car. I can start to mess with the ride height, see how that all works. Uh, I'm debating putting, debating putting these wheel liners back in in front of the wheel. I think if I do that, all it's gonna do is just smack into that all day and I won't be able to turn. So I think those I'm gonna wait on until I have the wheels all ready to go. And the sway bar, I need to get different end links so I can run the sway bar to the control arm mount on the SLR kit. With all of that being said, I hope you guys really like this video. I have been working on this car a lot, like every weekend I've been coming home from school. I'm still in college and it's getting to the last couple weeks, so uh, <laughs> videos working on the car from now on might be a while, uh, but we will still be doing the podcast every week which I hope you guys are enjoying those because they're pretty easy to make and we have a good time talking to some new people. And uh, it's pretty rad. But uh, yeah, the car is essentially done. Coilovers are installed back here. All the angle kit stuff is done up here. I sliced my hand open today. Uh, yeah, so now it's just a matter of putting like skid trays back on. I'm gonna clean that off, put that back on and uh, you know, tighten everything down and it should be good to go. So hit that like button and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Uh.